All right, back again, Luke here. And this is part four of the 1989 original Beastbusters arcade control panel build. And what I did today is I decided to kind of bite the bullet and go out and see if I could find some potentiometers for this uh, setup here. Unfortunately, you know, here is one of the ones that I had taken out. And, uh, you know, it, it spins very freely, um, unfortunately. So that seems like it's a huge problem. But I went out to try and see if I could find some of these pots here with the longer uh, ends on them. And I was able to come across a small shop that had... Uh, had some similar ones. Actually, as far as the rating goes, these ratings seem to be really good, but you guys can notice one difference here, and that is the uh, the length of the uh, the end here. So uh, it's it's quite a bit of a difference here, probably looking at about, I don't know, five centimeters or so of a difference, but I'm thinking that this should still work out pretty well um, because the plastic piece that it sits in doesn't need to, it doesn't have to go in all the way uh, down here, but uh, uh, as long as it maybe if I can get half of this filed off it should work out fine so what I'm gonna have to do here is file a flat spot on one one side as soon as I make sure I find the uh, the center and file a flat spot on there and then you know install it resolder the wires on it and that should be good to go but at least I was able to pick up four of these and this is the uh, the next step. What I'm going to do is uh, go ahead, adjust all these, make sure that they're centered, as centered as possible, and then we're going to use some of these files that I have here. Uh, I have quite a few different um, size files that we can go ahead and use on here on trying to get this thing flat, and yeah, hopefully we'll put it back together and everything will work. So next step is going to be filing the flat spots, so I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, I'm in the process of uh, changing out these pots. This is the new one, and this is the old one here. Uh, you can see the soldering job is not the best on this at all. So I'm going to redo that. And uh, here are the other ones. All I had to do was just file off a little bit off of the top here, just because these things are a bit shallow. They're not very deep. So uh, that should still work really well. And it seems to be working so, so far so good. I've got the front one on here on the bottom. I just have to put the one up here on the top. That controls the aim, the up and the down, and then do it on the other side there. And we'll get a chance to test these out. But that's that's where we're at right now. I'm going to try and clean up these points here, try and get them to look a little bit more decent, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see, we've got the board all hooked up here, and we've got our controllers. These are the nice new pots that have all been put back in, and those things have been adjusted, and they're ready to go. So the last thing we have to do is try and adjust these guns and see if they'll, uh, they'll work with the board. So let's pop this thing on here and see if we can get this thing to work. There's our crosshatch pattern. Let's try to move some of this out of the way. One, two, three. Let's try gun number one. One, two, three. Gun number two. Oh, this thing's moving all around. Let's see. One, Two, three, and gun number three. Let's set that to gun number one's settings. All right, let's try this. There's one, two, three and player one gun error still that's really bad this is driving me nuts uh let's see maybe we can disconnect gun two and try gun two and see if that works any better huh these things are brand new pots so i don't know let's uh let's go back and give this another try be back in a bit 
All right, so as you can see here, I've got the gun stripped down. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what's going on with this thing. Uh, I did wind up taking out the solenoid. I cut the uh, the wires here. And uh, I'm not sure. Really, there's not a lot of information on this particular gun setup at all on the Internet. And even looking through the schematics, it really doesn't tell you that if the um, solenoids aren't hooked up, then the guns won't fire or uh, they won't uh, adjust. or it, it doesn't give you any idea as to what could be the possible problem. There's really nothing there. So I really don't know if it's a, uh, a matter of of the solenoids. If these things aren't firing, then it'll come up with an error. I did notice that when I was looking at the schematics that there was one part that said that there was an I.O. board, but uh, it didn't really mention what the I.O. board was uh, was for. I think looking at the schematics, you could see that I said like solenoid plus minus etc. But, um, you know, even trying to punch in the number for the I.O. could not find any uh, replacement parts for it. So I really don't know if that needs to be hooked up or not. This thing looks a little bit grungy, but um, yeah, I, once again, you know, I'm really kind of at a loss here. I don't know exactly where to start looking for the the problem as uh, I have um, probably mentioned in my last video or a couple of videos ago with this gun here there's no sight setup uh, like X and Y that you can try and adjust and see if the pots are working obviously these are brand new pots and even testing them you know testing to see if they were bad which is kind of ridiculous but um, none of them you know were bad actually these ones were still functioning as well but uh, yeah, it still keeps throwing up the errors, so I'm not sure. Unless anybody out there has a Beast Busters, original Beast Busters arcade cabinet, and they know what is going on with this setup. <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, yeah, at a loss for the moment. Uh, I think as of right now, you know, before I start dumping any more money into, you know, for example, solenoid parts or something like that, I need to really find out what, uh, what's missing because I have swapped out the top board as you guys have seen in some of the last parts and uh, the top board although the other top board didn't have sound it did the same exact thing I tried swapping out the bottom board and uh, it did the same exact thing the only board that I don't have is the middle board so I can't switch that around but um you know I'm trying to uh trying to troubleshoot this thing as much as possible but it's just not working <laughs> this thing's definitely uh, throwing a lot of curveballs and uh, not really making it easy to figure out what the problem is with it so as of right now I think I might have to put this thing aside again and just hope that I can eventually get some more information on this gun setup so I know what it needs in order to start firing and um, you know what it needs to be calibrated I don't even know if in the calibration section if the solenoids are supposed to fire then that's a big problem because none of the solenoids are firing um, <clears throat> Once again, I've never owned one of these, and I've never uh, been able to, you know, be at the arcades when they first started up to see what it does when it goes through the test uh, test mode, you know. But um, if anyone does own a Beastbusters arcade cabinet, could let me know what uh, what this thing does or what it needs in order to fire up, uh, especially with that I/O board that apparently connects into the uh, solenoid uh, section of the board here. And if the solenoids actually do fire when you do the uh, the test or not, because that, that might be the big problem there, I'm not sure. But as of right now, I think we're just going to put it up and put it aside and uh, wait, wait around for other stuff and some other information and see what happens after that. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Stubborn machine. Why?